Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing more Skyrealms in VR because I have the Vive now as you can see. I didn't have it on Monday but I do have it now. So I'm going to go ahead and go do the uh, VR visits that I said that I would do. Uh, it's going to be my last VR visit video though unfortunately because I just I don't want to have like a ton of VR visit videos like I said previously. And also I'm starting a new full-time job on Monday so I'm not going to have as much time to be playing games and making videos and all that stuff. But I don't want to completely stop putting videos out on my channel. I'm still going to be putting videos out. Uh, but probably for the first couple weeks or so while I'm getting used to the rhythm of things and getting used to my job and all that. Probably not going to be very many videos, if any at all. Um, but yeah, so I figured I'd get this out of the way before that all happened. So enough of the explaining. I don't really have too much new in my vase except for uh, that which I Don't Know 21 gave me. Um, because he's just a cool guy and he decided to make it all for me so he threw it all in my hoppers and I set it up right there oh yeah I need to break the extra wool on the side I forgot and I think uh, maybe there's one new thing yeah okay so I moved my big automatic uh, smelting machine over to here and I've added a selling glass shop buying sand shop and buying blaze rod shop so it basically just automatically makes glass so you can come here and buy glass if you want to buy it and you don't want to have to make it. And I set up my infinite water over here just like that instead of the way that it used to be, but whatever. And I also set up a brewer for the regeneration potions so that I've always got those handy. And I have finally given uh, the IG spawner to, uh, who was it? It was Double Trouble. But, ooh, something's loud out there. I, and I also got uh, Cool Cosmos his pickaxe, but I still haven't gotten Waffles the Great his pickaxe. So if anybody knows him and wants to try to, like, let him know that he won a pickaxe, that would be cool. But, yeah. Anyways. On with the VR visits. Okay, so we decided to give XT Diomedes, or Diomedes, or however you say it, another chance because... Last time I came here, his door was closed, so uh, let's go ahead and go see what's inside. Donation chest, thanks he says. I should probably put something in there. I don't have anything on me at the moment, but I'll probably come throw something in there. Looks like he has a cobble gen down there. I'm going to go down there here in a second, but first I want to check this out. Oh! Wow! This was all hiding back here. Jeez, this is a nice base! Holy cow, it looks like a giant school or something. This is incredible. My goodness, man. How is it? This was all hidden behind those walls, huh? Good God. Holy cow, this place is huge. Okay, that's a big empty room. And it looks like this is the top. This place is awesome, man. I'm trying to stay facing one direction so that I'm facing the mic and the camera. Sugar farm room. Looks like there isn't anything in here yet. Holy crap! He still hasn't finished this room yet, but oh my god. This looks amazing. Alright, let's see what's down here. Whoa. Oh, he's got some shops down here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn around here for a second. Or turn to the side at least. 350k? What are these? Enderman spawner. Hmm. And it looks like he has a few kit shops set up here. Man, this place is amazing. And he's got his nether portal over there. And it looks like he has a big automatic sorting system going on right here. Nice. Yeah, and he's got it all... Woo! Almost fell. That was weird. He's got it all labeled up. He's got some bugged items too. Maybe those bugged items are showing up because I'm not updated to 112... 1.12, rather. Very nice base. I cannot believe that this is what was hiding behind that door. So, uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and leave you a realm vote, and then I'm going to go on to the next base. Okay, here we are at Lel, it's Panda's base. I feel like I've been at this base before. 
uh, just like surfing around maybe on the realm top or something. Holy cow, man. What a nice base. He's got his name right there, obviously, and then like this big arcing pattern going right there. Let's go ahead and move in. It looks like he's going to have some shops here. Yes, he does. He's selling cobblestone and buying cobblestone. Oh, no, he's just buying, just buying cobblestone. Which actually, that's a good price because I sell my cobblestone for 350 stack. So that's 400 stack right there. Hey, he's here. I'll let him know that I'm doing my VR visit video. Hello. Panda says hi, YouTube. Everyone's saying hi, YouTube. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Freaking nice base, by the way. I like how he's using uh, the magma and all that, too. I wish I could fly. That's not fair. That so much. Oh, it's Golden King. I was like, that's real expensive, but okay. Golden King. I, w I wonder what uh, Treasure Hunter does. Alright, let's go ahead and check out more of his base. Holy cow. He's got a big old iron golem profit shop. I have definitely been here because I bought his iron. I was coming down here and buy a bunch of iron one of these times. Oh, nice. Got the big iron golem face on the uh, iron golem spawner. Get away from me! <laughs> Cocoa bean farm all set up over here. Which he looks like he took a couple pieces out on accident or something. Bunch of vines over there. And then this is all just... Whoa! I fell out of the map. <laughs> More cup of bean. Whoa! It's really hard to walk with the VR. <laughs> Throws your balance off. He's got some named skeletons down there. Ah! Oh yeah, and then he's got this big old iron golden thing set up here, which looks amazing, by the way. Holy cow, it's so laggy. I don't know if the lag translates in the video, but man, that is laggy on the Vive. And then he's got his uh, AFK pool right there, so that you can make him a bunch of money. Is that a... Is that just a rainbow beacon? That's so cool. I didn't know you could make it just be a rainbow all the way up. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. I knew you could get it to swap colors by moving blocks in and out, but I didn't know you could just have it literally be a rainbow. That is so cool. Probably can't see me waving, but yeah, I'll see you later. Cool Cosmos actually just won one of my uh, Sky God pickaxes. So congrats to him on that. And I've been to the space before, but I guess I will check it out again. Oh, I haven't checked out in a VR video, but I was here the other day trying to find a, uh, a hopper to throw his pickaxe into. Oh, he's got a pick spawner going now. I don't think this was here last time. Nice. He's got himself some food cooking. Nice, nice. Got himself a little doggy friend. And he's got a lot of potatoes going on. And there's his cactus farm. Whoa, my head. And that looks to be a cobble gen. It looks like there is a vine farm up here maybe. Let me go check it out. Whoa. Yep, there's a little bit of a vine farm up here. And then he's got an item sorter down there. Huh. Oh no. No, I'm stuck in the fence. Okay. I gotta I gotta visit him again. Okay. And then he's got a shop over here, and I like the way he set it up. It kinda reminds me of the way that uh, shop or not Shopify. Um Reptile Insane does his shop. He's got his shops elevated, so they're right at head level. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and check out down here. I hear some chickens somewhere. They must be right up there. And then he's got a little bit of a storage area down here. Nice, nice. Why is that block so dark? Is that a shulker box? Oh, it's a chest. It's just a really dark chest. Oh yeah, and this is how you can get into his... Uh... Oh, there's all the chickens. And that's how you get into his cactus farm. 
And I thought I saw an even bigger cactus form down here somewhere. Yes, I did. Nice, yeah, so he's got an even bigger cactus form set up down here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next base. Alright, the next person base that I'm visiting is Iron Builder 5191 which it looks amazing so far, honestly. I really like uh, the arcing pattern. I need to get a big arc in front of my store or something because that arcing pattern like that looks, looks awesome. I think it's got lava running down too and a flag all the way up there. Kind of looks like the sun. <laughs> so he's got a shop set up here with, oh, Jason HD. HPD 23. I'm pretty sure he's another person that I'm gonna go visit. Maybe I think he was telling me to come visit both of these bases. That that would make sense. So yeah, he's got a little shop set up here and some some storage. Not a whole lot else around here. Let's see. Can I go up a uh, ladder right here? Yes, I can. And it looks like he's made out of everything out of slabs, which is actually really smart because enemies will not spawn on slabs I do not believe at least that's what I read on the internet I hear a zombie villager hello yeah four zombie villagers wow where the heck are there four of them oh no now they're fighting mistakes were made I killed your zombie villagers I'm sorry let's go ahead and see what's up this big old staircase back here whoa almost fell off Alright, we got a nether wart farm, little one, little nether wart farm started over here. Some wheat growing. What else we got? And a big old potato farm, it looks like. So that is all of that base. On to the next one. The next person on the list is Jason HPD23. But it's saying that his realm is set to private. Let's go ahead and see if he's online, if I can send him a message. Uh, it does not appear that he is online either. So, sorry Jason. But I can't visit your realm if it's private, so... I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright, now here we are at Steel the Shadows base. Nice. I don't think I've ever come to your base, but I've seen you around a bunch of times. What is going on up there? There's like a maze going on up there. Of blocks. And then there's a bunch of shops. I don't want to fall down. Let's go ahead and jump! Nice, nailed it. I'm not crazy. The awesome people board. I'm not crazy, okay? It's, you're not crazy, it's fine. What's going on in here? Okay, so there's a bunch of good loot in these chests. That's what's going on in these. Little potato farm going. Oh, no, no, no. This looks like a villager farm because there's a bunch of doors, obviously. Hey, he's here. Oops. At some point when I was recording, somewhere over here, my recording completely froze and I don't know exactly what happened. I think I pressed some sort of button or something. So I'm basically going to go ahead and start back from where I was. So I was up here, oh, checking out the villager farm and now I got to slash visit again because I messed up. And then uh, he showed me around the base. So I'll show you what he showed me. Came up here. And then he showed me into this secret little area, do not enter beware, where he's building all these signs up that all say, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Which makes you kind of think that he might be a little crazy. But no, I think this is like a reference to a movie of some sort. Not exactly sure. Or maybe he's actually just crazy. Who knows? And then over here, he's got a pig spawner, which pushes them down. Those ones haven't made it yet, for some reason, but it's supposed to push them down into lava, obviously. And then collect up the cooked pig. I'm not exactly sure what's going on over here, 
with this big old button and this big old path. But down here, he has a blaze spawner. And then they'll all collect up right down there, and you can just kill them with melee, and then he'll collect up the XP. Let's go ahead and see what he's got down going on down at the lower level. Whee! So he's got uh, his iron golem spawner set up. Nice, nice. And then there's just like a block of gold in the middle of there. For some reason, I don't know what's going on there. I have no idea what's going on there. Oh, nice. He's got like a little winter area. I'm feeling kind of hot right now in the vibe. I could use this. I could use all the snow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and visit the next one. Alright, looks like cashin has got just a big old iron gold spawner going on in his realm. And then there is a cactus farm up there. And looks like he's selling some kit stuff and some cobblestone. Iron, obviously. But it looks like there's not a whole lot else to his realm. But it does look very nice and professional with the uh, the quartz and the glowstone. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, I don't, I don't really see anywhere else to go. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and visit the next base. But nice base, Cashton. I like it, I like it. Alright, the next base is uh, Unicorn Poop Cakes, which is a very interesting name. I don't think I would have gone with that myself, but teach his own. Million dollar donation, that is a little steep for me. And then he's got the uh, iron golems going on, like a lot of people do, and the cactuses going on, again, like a lot of people do. Nice vine farm, and some cocoa beans. Got a dog and a cat to watch guard, just in case there's any, uh, any problems here when he's not here. Pig spawner, nice. And a sugar cane farm, I see. What's going on up here? Oh, this just leads up to the sugar cane farm, doesn't it? Okay. Moving on to the next base. And the last base I'm going to be visiting is I Don't Know 21. Uh, because he's been being really cool. He didn't ask me to come to visit his base. But he's given me so much stuff lately. He, like gave me a bunch of night kits and just like all this cool stuff so and he uh obviously he gave me this big old that big old triangle sign set up or banner set up rather that i have in my base so uh yeah i figured i'd come check his base out a hundred thousand dollar donations okay and a million dollar donation ten ten million dollars i don't jeez man Whew. Whew. that's a lot of money how high are we going now? One, two, three, one, three. What is that? Ten trillion dollar donations? Well, whenever somebody gets ten trillion dollars, I'm sure they'll come by on your side. <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay. Uh, anyways, he makes really nice signs, as you can see. And he actually he has a sign shop down here. Let me, let me go back in here. He's got a sign shop down here. So if you're ever uh, looking for some interesting looking kinds of, uh, or not signs, banners rather. It's got a banner shop down here. So if you're ever looking for some interesting banners, you can always come down here, check it out. And then he's got a big old cactus farm. I don't know what's going on with all the sheep. He's got so many sheep here. Maybe it's for all the banners. I guess that would make sense. Looks like a nether war farm. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, one last thing to look at here. Let's figure out what this is. What's in there? Bunch of water and signs? Hey, skeleton. Oh, it's a squid. It's a squid farm. Ah, okay. So yeah, this big area of water is to spawn squid, and when they spawn, they'll fall down here, they will suffocate, and then this will push them towards the middle so that their items get dropped into the hoppers. Very smart. Would you knock it off? <laughs> Just like watching these slow-mo arrows. Oh, 
like the Matrix. Oh no, my headset. <laughs> Alright. I think that's going to be it for me now though, guys. So, uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.